Number four, and I hate to put Justin Fields this low, but he is going to fall at number four on my board here. And when you look at how Mac, how Zach Wilson, how Trevor Lawrence have, just, I mean, just go look at the tape. Your eyes aren't going to lie to you. They've looked better than Justin Fields has. And maybe there, you know, if some people want to throw out their weapons, offensive line, coaching, whatever it may be, at the end of the day, when you are drafted, you're at the disposal, of course, of the team that you're with. And Justin Fields looks good. I'm not by any stretch saying that he's going to be the fourth best quarterback coming out of this draft but what we've seen from these preseason games I am going to put him at number four I love the fearlessness already from Justin Fields I love the attacking you know with the leg work and overall moving outside of the pocket and really extending any type of play that he wants to a little bit of a Russell Wilson vibe there or an Aaron Rodgers you know like we mentioned um and Justin Fields you know he's got the big arm he's got the smarts highest ever um you know test in the NFL when you get drafted and when you look at Justin Fields having to fill some shoes for a Chicago team that has always wondered about about a quarterback they finally got their solution and I think Justin Fields is going to have a great rookie year but in terms of ranking these guys and putting them from their preseason play I do have him at number four on this list he had a higher wonder lick than uh than Fitzpatrick yeah he had the highest wonder lick of all time yeah I want to say he smashed it by like 30 points 40 points that much higher than the Harvard grad yeah yeah, he absolutely crushed it on the Wonderlick test. Okay. Yep, highest of all time. And that's over like 2,500 NFL athletes, or excuse me, NFL players that have came through the league. Yeah, that's crazy. Yep. Yeah, like Fitzpatrick has been holding on to that title for quite some time. Yes, as, you, as we all know, he's been in the league forever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving Justin Fields my number two spot. Okay. Giving him a B-plus rating. I mean, Justin Fields, we saw a lot of him. 30 for 50, 60% completion. I mean, yep. it was pretty decent considering – the Bears just really never block for him at any point in time. <laughs> at all. He was playing against the backups, but they didn't block for him at all. Yep. And I mean, in a lot of spots, he looked really good. I mean, he threw for 100, uh, 176 yards, two touchdowns, 11 carries for 94 yards on a touchdown. So he showed that he's definitely a dual threat quarterback who can be an asset, especially in the, the way the NFL is trending. There are not many quarterbacks that people are going with that can't do both. You need for your quarterback to be able to actually extend plays and run if need be. He is absolutely that guy. I mean, he looked poised in the pocket. He showed you a great, like, he has great mobility. He can extend plays. He's very accurate on his deep balls. So, I mean, I think the sky is the limit to him. Other than, I mean, the only knock that I have on him is the fact that he didn't play against any starters. And I really think that the only reason the Bears aren't starting him is because they're just going to hang Andy Dalton out to die against all the top-rated defense they play in the beginning of the season. Yeah, <laughs> they're going to let the Rams have him first. He, he's the sacrificial lamb. Yep. That's it. But uh, but you know, I was impressed with Justin. Yeah, highly agree. He came as advertised.